in order to be able to resonate with the listener, you really have to put your heart and soul into it. And like I said, this is an art form that re really requires honesty and truth and, and love and passion and all of that. And you know, when I think about this recording in particular, I think about how personal these stories were that they put into these melodies, into the songs. You know, Freddie Freeloader, another tune on there. Well, that was written about a guy that Miles used to see kind of hanging out, you know, on the street, you know? And so to think that someone has made such an impression on you that you're gonna write a song, right? And record it. And you think about this whole record. None of the melodies are really complex. They're all pretty simple conceptually, technically pretty simple, but it, it, it the beauty of the record itself is that if you put every piece of it together, it, it, it tells a story you know, and, and, and the way that it's presented. Um, but also just the way that the musicians work together, the way they listen to each other, the way they play off of each other, the way that they use space, uh, the way that they use dynamics, colors, tension and release. Uh, those are some things that I think that's really, really important. And again, the more you guys listen to these records, uh, the more, and you start to sing them, the more you start to understand the value. So I, let me just, I'll close with this part of the question. So here's a question to you guys. How many of you all, you can just show, show your hand or respond. How many of you all speak a language other than, other than English? So if I say to Job, Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka? Nanjin desu ka? Nami wana desu ka? Job is looking at me, boy, you better be glad I'm here and I'm not there. I will whoop you. Okay, so I'm speaking to Job in Japanese, but Job doesn't speak Japanese, so we can't have a conversation. Right. Why do I use that analogy? Music is the same thing. Because every time you play with someone, you're doing what? You're having a conversation. So how would Job and I be able to have a conversation in Japanese? He has to learn the language so that we can have a conversation. How can you guys have a conversation playing jazz? You gotta learn the language. How do we learn a language? Through listening and through stealing. <laughs> what? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that doesn't mean that you're going to the 7-Eleven or Wawa and stealing a, a, a Snickers. Well, we call it transcribing, but it's just stealing. So what does yeah, that mean? Too. We take information that people have given us via recordings and we learn them. And we find a way to personalize it and make it our own.